Um, it's a um, great pleasure for me to have the possibility to introduce to you this new concept. It's a concept of Trelleborg that has been uh, developed uh, jointly with uh, Denan Incorporated. And um, it's, it's a, um, it's a um, concept that allows us uh, to, have, to be OEM fully integrated. It's a control system that controls the pressure and, and allows the um, driver, the farmers, to set up the pressure and uh, inflate, uh, deflate directly from the, gap, the cabin the pressure on these tires. Um, unlike the existing CTS uh, system present in the, in the market right now, um, this system provides new features. This new feature is, uh, for example, the possibility to uh, have uh, these, uh, to not have uh, external parts or uh, pipes uh, sticking out from the wheels. So everything, the manifold and the uh, valve that has been uh, presently uh, described are positioned in the inner part of the tire. And uh, this is valid for the front, but also for the rear axle. And especially on the rear axle, this uh, kind of system is uh, um, available and uh, uh, available for bar axle and the flanged configuration. So uh, I think it's uh, uh, very important now to um, go to the uh, different benefits that we think about this system. Because we do believe uh, that the new CTI system, together with the new generation of tractors, can provide and boost the productivity of the farming girl operation, obviously increasing the sustainability and efficiency of uh, the operation. And there are several plus that we can think about. We can talk about reducing the working time, that means higher traction, less fuel consumption, in this specific case, no external pipes, full integration with the machine, which is also a very key, important part. And easy to use, uh, something that is easy for the driver to be utilized. Uh, but last and not least uh, are also the target that we have in terms of performance of our system. And we are talking about, obviously, depending on the configuration of the tractor, um, to have to be around one third of bar per minute. Um, our recent, uh, recent research demonstrates that the, the use of the correct pressure could impact in a very important way on the economy of the farming because we are um, uh, um, adding uh, results of uh, cutting down the variable cost of the farming around 20% using the right, uh, right pressure. And, uh, but let's see now uh, how these um, system looks like and is composed by. Um, we do have uh, a rotary manifold and a wheel valve for each tire. Um, plus a uh, uh, mechatronic central unit, unit called MCU that are controlling this uh, setup. It's important, already said, but I think it uh, makes sense to uh, say again this. Uh, the, uh, the rotary manifold has been developed by Trailborg, and there are some components that come from the Trailborg sealing solution, and obviously allow the passage from the stator part to the rotor part without any kind of leakage of air. And then we have uh, the, uh, the wheel valve. The wheel valve is uh, the uh, Dana um, products that developed by Dana Incorporated that, that allows uh, and uh, regulate the, um, the deflating and inflating of the tires uh, just close uh, to the rim of the tire. And, um, but I do think that um, it could make sense also now to see a little bit how it works. Uh, basically, as soon as um, the, uh, we have used and configured our own tractor with our own configuration, and uh, the trailable load calculator will give uh, all the information about the correct pressure that has to be used uh, in our application. And this information will be uploaded inside the cabin and will be visualized in the, the, uh, on the monitor. So for the farmers will be, or the driver, will be very easy to select the application and then push the button, say, uh, adjust the pressure to the set value. At that moment, the MCU and the entire system will work inflating or deflating uh, the tires depending on the target that, this, uh, um, that the tractor had to be reached. But again, to better um, 
explain uh, this system, I think will make very little sense uh, to go to our model over here. And it is uh, a model that reproduce uh, on your left side, reproduce uh, a tractor. Basically, it's the left part of the tractor. So over here, you will see on the front part the new product, uh, TM1000 uh, Progressive Traction VF67030, and equip it with the uh, complete set uh, of a CTS, uh, which means a rotary manifold plus uh, a wheel valve. On the back side, it's obviously, you can see that it's a rear tire, so or a schematic rear tires where it's very easy to see a standalone uh, rotary manifold. Um, but again, I think the important thing is to say here that now we are going to make a real test. These tires is rolling for real, and the manifold, the statoric part and rotoric part are now moving, and everything is uh, maintaining pressurized by the system uh, of, the t of the rotary manifold. So what is going to happen right now? So if we have a look now, and it will be, I guess, uh, um, you can see that this small monitor is reproducing the monitor that you have in a cabin. So basically, it shows you different data. The condition of the tires, in this specific case, so please focus on the front left tire, where there is a, a 08 bar, which is the current pressure of the tire. And then there is, a, just below, the suggested target in pressure, trailable load cal TLC target, which is 1.1. So, and obviously you'll see there's something wrong that say it's red. So the, the pressure that you have in a target is not the pressure that you have in the tires. So for the uh, farmers, for the driver, it will be very easy because he will just go to the bottom, adjust the tire pressure, will push that, and immediately the system will start to interact. I guess you start to hear some pss some small sounds, and very soon, especially I think on the person that are close to the tires, you can feel and hear the tire, the, uh, the air blowing inside the tire. So automatically you will see that the pressure is going up. The, p the air is going from the air compression through the MCU directly into the rotary manifold, then to the wheel valve, and then to the tires. Now it's reaching the pressure, it's making all the checks, and you will see that now it's green. We reach the correct pressure, and now the system stops to work. Obviously, continue monitoring uh, the pressure. I feel, uh, and I, I, I guess, really, and I hope that you were able to see and to feel the huge uh, potentiality of this system, which we do believe it's going to boost uh, the farming operation. So many thanks for your attention. And obviously, uh, we remain at your full disposal for any kind of question of doubts. Thank you.